How? Just keep the original wording. Well, I'm going to switch. Well, it's not applicable to you, but the way we're doing this is you have to open to a page and do it. Um, where and when did you buy your rent, your first apartment, or piece of real estate instead of house? And describe the significance this held for you. Oh, my. So describe your first place away from home. And, uh, and excluding how it college? Mm. Are we... I mean, it seems your like... First pl your first place you lived other than home. Uh, I had dorms all throughout college. Uh, I think they really want wanted to repeat the pattern of uh, driving to college, which I'll just make a side note. If they had worked at any university, like Dad's parents did, I would have taken that, because they were... I mean, we all know that they were forcing me to go and forcing me to pay. Mm -hmm. If I could have gone somewhere for free, that would have been great, because I didn't know what I wanted to do then. So... Uh, the experience of just living in a dorm, living on my own, it wasn't really living on my own. I mean, I had roommates all throughout uh, until senior year. Um, so those first three years were just very awkward, realizing um, that I'm my personality is very overbearing on people, um, and that I just got in a lot of fights. Uh, my first roommate and I spent the entire second semester in silence with each other, which is not u unusual. Uh, then the next year after that, uh, it was sort of a slow decay, and by the end, uh, we, none of us spoke with each other. And then the third year, I actually had, my, my roommates and I got along pretty well. I, I just had this air of feeling that I was better than everyone, which I'm sure comes directly. I mean, I, I hate that we relate everything to our parents, but that's mm -hmm. very much their philosophy, too. It goes sort of hand-in-hand hand with the atheism, the superiority complex. And unfortunately, living with a bunch of different people didn't really do anything to deflate that. Okay. Uh, I was very snotty. I'm trying to keep you back in a literal, like, linear movement. How did the place, how did living on your own make you feel? Oh, I didn't really listen to the question, I okay. guess. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, living on my own. Well, I mean... Then I moved into my first apartment, just, to, this mm -hmm. will be the, the sort of culmination of this linear chronology here. Uh, I moved in for my senior year with my girlfriend, and then uh, it exposed sort of very conservative ideals that our father held. He said, do you think I'm okay with you living with a girl that I guess that I wasn't married to? That's odd. Um, very odd. I mean, who would think he cared, one way or the other? Or even knew what's going on in your life. Right. But, um, basically they didn't approve, and I received, I think, an email pretty shortly after moving in, chastising me for not doing a proper job of moving out and cleaning out my room and my closet, thinking I could keep a few items in there just as storage. You know, I, was, I wasn't expecting them to keep my room, but they were ready to convert it into their puppy room, I guess. Uh, and so that's how my, being in my first place affected my life. Thank you, uh... You know, just sort of like, was my first clear break from living in fear and realizing my freedom, and I took a lot of advantage of that, and it wasn't very responsible.